Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And this is the Olight O-Station X AA charger. This thing holds up to 32 AA batteries. You just drop them into this uh, hopper on the top end, just like I'm doing here. Close the door if you want. But this actually is, I think this is a prototype. They are um, beginning a promotion where you can get in line to get one of these, should your double A needs be as heavy as mine and what this does they say it works uh, as a three-in-one the first is it is a battery charger now here are some of my battery chargers I have these all over you some of these you actually like this IntelliCharger you really should for balancing have two in these places that's why I've marked it this is an outstanding one here little USB charger um, uh, this is also quite a good one if you like displays. Now I'm showing you another thing here. Not only is this a charger, it is also a battery tester. So this is really the only one that gives me a digital readout. I have separate testers I use for batteries. Um, and the third thing that this does is it is your battery storage and organizer. Here's my usual battery storage and organizer is I flip these out sideways and leave them in the charger or they go somewhere else. Um, that's often what I'm doing is I'm cycling through batteries. Now there is going to be a AAA version. This is a AA version. You can only use you know double A's with this. Uh, but if you throw any double A's into this thing, it will read the polarity of it and it'll it'll charge according to that polarity. That's one of the smart chip things in here. If it's a bad battery or not a rechargeable or something like that, it throws it into this tray. And occasionally you might get one of these in there if something's up. Um, just test it. Uh, when you are done, or when it is done charging, you can see this little blinking light right down here. That means it's charging. Uh, they pop out at the bottom. So whatever comes out the bottom here is fully charged, ready to go. Now currently this is only for um, nickel metal hydride batteries, which is really the only ones you want. Um, if you grab any old battery, and look somewhere on there, uh, like on this next cell, uh, you'll see the NIMH, nickel metal hydride. Um, that actually is the kind of battery that it charges. It doesn't do the old NICADs, um, but that's okay because these are the high capacity batteries we need for things. And I still use a ton of double A's. In fact, I have a handful of AA flashlights that I use all the time. And one of the reasons is I, or flashlights and headlamps, is I can carry an extra set of these. I don't have to worry about bringing a charger. Um, but I, I do other things that, you know, switch back and forth. If you look at the back side of this thing, there are actually two USB ports. So I could easily just grab uh, another one and then plug in another USB device and then this thing will start charging because I have got um, I have got a uh, a pass through here. So if you've got one one powerful USB charger, which this does come with um, in a wall outlet, um, I can just also get a pass through, and then it'll start charging this up. And this is you know, very very hard to see that little red light in there um, on this. Other O light, but anyway, what do I think of this? Well, it's a great idea. Should you be um, hit the button here? Oh, starting to can hear it clicking away here. Um, but what it does, uh, it it's always got your your double um, A charged batteries ready to go, and as soon as you get home, next uh, adventure, whatever, just toss them in there, um, and don't worry about it. Uh, got a problem, it solves it for you right here. Um, so here you can see some video of this thing in action. Um, it uh, makes a little tiny bit of noise. You can just hear some things happening in there. Um, and then you've got uh, one button, as far as I can tell, to control this thing, and that turns it on and off. This is actually um, an interesting take for, I think, for Olight, since so many of their lights are actually... Um, not US, or excuse me, not um, double A um, or triple A lights. But uh, in all honesty, I use GPS's headlamps, flashlights, uh, lanterns, metal detectors, things like that that all take a ton of these rechargeable 
um, or a ton of double A's and I really like the rechargeable side because that way I can always top it off. Um, I have mentioned that that's one of my loves for the USB um, or for the rechargeable lights is before I head out I can always have a full battery whereas in the old days if you're using alkaline or something because of the cost you would end up not wanting to use uh, you know, or throw away partially full batteries, so you'd want to run them to the end, but that also meant that you'd have to deal with the battery, um, first of all, when it was over, um, but second, you'd have to carry extras, even if you were going out uh, just for a short time, simply because you didn't know exactly where you were. So anyway, I wanted to bring this to your attention. There is a campaign going on. I'll put links below where you can find out more information, get in line for one, should that be uh, what you want, and you can uh, learn a lot more about this thing. There's, it's, they put uh, a year's worth of engineering into this. It is really a sweet little machine, and it's one of those that you didn't know you needed until you had one. And now you realize, gosh, this, you can just sit in the corner, keep everything charged up, and this holds up to 32 batteries, so I could have 32 charged AA batteries ready to go. And as you know, my uh, recent experience with a storm and the loss of power, I mean, literally, I burned through my electric battery generators and started up my gas generator. Um, and having a, a supply, I mean, yeah, you can you know, go camping and everything's fine and dandy, but after about day three or four of no light, plus working at night on things, you really start to realize just how fragile it is uh, in your kind of preparedness um, pantry, if you will, that you start running out of batteries, you know, so is everybody else, and then that's the end. So this is actually a great idea. I'm glad they're pursuing this stuff. Anyway, I'll let you get back to whatever you're doing, and with that, dock out.